Hello everyone! Welcome to the last look, the 13th look, hopefully not a bad omen, <laughs> of these 13 weeks of bright looks for summer. It's been a real pleasure creating them for you guys and I hope to create a lot more in the months to come under other hashtags, obviously. But this is the last one. And I am going to use what I feel is the perfect palette for the transition between summer and fall, which is this one, the 420 palette. Okay, let's see there, no reflection, by Mel Cosmetics. And I don't know if you can, it changes depending on how you turn it. I don't know if it picks up here in the camera, but in any case, this is kind of holographic. I didn't know that 420 meant the cannabis thing, okay? The cannabis, I don't know how you say it. I'm not into cannabis or cannabis, whatever, but I am into this palette because look at these colors. I mean, could you see something more attractive? I was particularly drawn to this acid green and this very, very duck yellow. Um, and the way that they have combined them with all of this, it has a mirror there and there is only one uh, shimmery shade, which is this one, it's called Shatter, Shatter, yes, really like this as a mixing color. So I'm going to use this one, yes, I'm going to start with the NARS Pro Prime. Um, base. I'm going to start with the eyes because again these are shadows and I, I have a little bit of puffy eyes today so I am um, this particular base primer has um, depuffing agents in it so trying to use this one Okay, for base, I'm going to use this one here, it's called Blunt, and I really like the engraving in these palettes, really nice. So this all over brush from that rose embedded, rose powder embedded from Sephora, and I'm going to use it in my eyelid. and underneath as well, just to round up the eye. I mean, the color did not look like much in the palette, but I really like it in the eye. If you have blue eyes, this will really look good on you. Okay, as a blending color, I'm going to use this one here. It's the last one is called Hush. Oh. And this is very beautiful. Um, L for Jaquiza brush. This is the crease brush. So uh, just to blend edges, I'm going to blend with that color. This is a gray blending color. Subtle way to intensify the crease. See the difference? If you have hooded eyes like me, <clears throat> just relax your eyelid, look straight ahead, and that's where you start placing it. Once you have it mapped out, then you can close and sort of bring it in. Okay, I'm going to use that acid green here, very appropriately name Shotgun um, with this inner shader by Sigma um, obviously for the inner corner I'm going to put that there and go in the inner corner and I'm going to kind of 
do eyeliner with the darkest color here roll it uh, we could use the, you can also use this green but I'm gonna do the brown this is another one of the L4 Jaquisa. I, I just love these colors. Look at that. It's a set of, I think, some fallout here. It's a set of about six brushes. And they are like $25. And they are sold at Ulta. I think they're still sold. I shall link below. Okay. And just a teeny, teeny here in the outer corner underneath just to bring it in and I'm gonna go back to that initial brush and just blend that darker line just want an accent but I don't necessarily want it to look like an eyeliner and underneath as well yeah, right that's gonna be the color scheme for the eyes I think there is some drop down on these eyeshadows um, although they are mostly all matte only one like I show you has some shimmer actually a lot of shimmer you can probably use as an accent for the evening or something like that um, they do blend very very well okay so that is something to say for the base I'm going to use like I did in my last look the Dr. Jot uh, BB cream which looks kind of ashy gray when you put it on but then it has color correcting particles that really make it look really nice on your skin when you blend it in as you can see here takes down the redness if you have any redness really nice and of course I've done my chemical sunscreen before this and I've even put it in my neck my ears the back of my neck also my shoulders because I'm going out is actually Labor Day here in the USA and it's a long weekend just before the fall season starts and I'm going to try and get a pair of running shoes because I need to replace mine and I don't run here in the where I live here in Florida during the summer because it's just too hot even if you run at night it's, it's just too hot but now comes that time of year again where i can start running once a week but i need new running shoes so hence this all right i'm gonna conceal my under eyes with the secret concealer by laura mercier this has a salmon undertone really great for the dark circles circles before i do ping pong concealing i'm going to use some bronzer and one of my favorites uh, soleil tan de chanel this is the older version that i have they have reformulated it since um, and just gonna go around here my forehead underneath here my cheekbones here pretty much you know where the sun will actually hit you and tan you underneath your jawbone here and your neck so that it looks you can even put some on your shoulders if you are strapless sort of like I am 
Okay, I'm gonna do some pinpoint concealing with the secret camouflage. I'm gonna do it now after I have done the bronzer because otherwise, you know, I would have swiped it all away. All right, so brows, gonna brush them a bit. And I'm gonna use Boy Brow by Grossier. And this is in the brown. And it's not Boy Brow, it's Brow Flick. Silicone. Okay, so you shake this thing, and I still have not mastered it. But once you do, it would be really good. The product is really good because, you know, in the heat, it does not budge. It's totally waterproof. And then I'm going to use this by Smashbox, which is Brow Tech Highlight. This is in bronze. And you just use this against the flow of your brow, if you, if you, wash, if you would. Um, it's just to add some glimmer slight glimmer to your brow obviously try to keep it in your brow not outside and then the other end has this pulley and you can just distribute it nicely right curl my eyelashes and apply mascara i've used it Ico Sport, which is waterproof because here is sweltering. For blush, I'm going to use this one by Ritual de Fee. And it's called Rapture. It's sort of pink here, but when you apply it, it tends to go a little peachy, at least on me. And it turns into a very natural sort of color well, lips will be hidden by a mask but gonna do lips but better which in my case with this Huda throwbacks is first kiss and that's the final look with this new palette, which I will be using in the next month or so, but like I said, perfect transitional colors from summer into autumn. Well, this is the end of the 13 weeks of Bright Looks for Summer. I am going to take a short break and I am going to see you now at the end of October. I will be back the last week of October. I believe it's the 27th or the 28th, a few days just before Halloween, with a full look, makeup and costume for Halloween. And in the meantime, I hope you stay well, stay safe, stay, thank you so much for your support. I look forward to keep bringing you these videos um, about lifestyle, beauty, fashion in general. I have a lot more ideas for the next months to come. Hopefully next year, you know, we can go a little bit back to normal about traveling and getting around. But I shall see you then at the start of the holiday season. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.